Hello, boys and girls. Miss Claridge here. I want to talk to you about how the lessons are going to be organized. Um, we will always have learning targets and outcomes for the student activity. As you look through this, you'll see that there will be some academic language involved. Uh, in the Go Be Great unit, you'll see words like encouragement, enjoyment, um, health, wellness. We've already talked a little bit in some of the other videos about the resources that you'll be using around your house, both indoors and outdoors. We've talked about your safety um, and you making responsible choices and then selecting areas inside your house and outside of your house where you can participate uh, in our lessons um, in a safe manner. Um, I'm trusting that you will utilize um, and ask for help and assistance from your parents and maybe uh, siblings um, if you have some. So then as you go through the lessons, you'll always see um, that I go through and I'll have basically three sections of a lesson. Um, I always try to have some type of warm up activity. Uh, then we'll have a, a practice session of some type of physical skill. And then there always will be, or most of the time there will be an activity just for fun, just for you, you to enjoy with your family members and or uh, yourself. And you can track it in your activity log. I'm going to go down to the grid where the lesson is for today. Uh, there are three, four different activities here. Um, we want to always make sure that you uh, maintain good personal space uh, in this time of COVID. Um, while we're in school or we're out in the public, it's really important that we are w aware of a six foot uh, space between us and, and people around us and that we are wearing our mask and, and uh, protecting ourselves so that we can remain healthy. Um, as you're in your, in your environment at home, please remember to watch out for where you are as you participate in the activities. Each one of the activities, um, the link will take you to a video. A uh, 30 second jump routine is uh, one of my friends, Nick, and he'll take you through three different kinds of jumping jacks and you will do them um, just 30 seconds each. I'd like you to see what your heart rate is by taking your carotid pulse. Um, if you'll recall, make a fist, two fingers up, start on your chin, slide down your neck about one inch and then slightly over about another inch and you should feel around and you'll be able to feel your pulse. Take your pulse, go ahead and count how many times you feel your heart beat on your fingertips in a six second count and then multiply that times 10 and that'll give you your heartbeat um, at that point for a minute. And then after you do the routine once, go ahead and take your pulse again and then try it again and again and work through that routine several times, several, several intervals and uh, see how you're feeling after it. See if it gives you a good aerobic workout. Um, then go on to the next, uh, the next item. It's called a uh, victory check. Chegg. Chegg is um, two words combined, chicken and egg and you're going to do rock, paper, scissors, and it's a, a rock, paper, scissors, scissor victory chegg. So hopefully there's someone at your home that you can enjoy that activity with. And then there's good old uh, bottle flip chaos for fun. And if you have a cone, if you have a little mini cone at home, uh, you can do uh, flip the cone chaos and you can enjoy that with your family members or siblings. And if you don't have anyone at home, you can uh, do your own point system or or maybe if you're flipping the bottle and it and it lands upright you're good to go if it lands on its side maybe you do five jumping jacks or whatever you'll see in the video what you're supposed to do but you can also be creative and and change it up a bit i will talk to you soon uh, i hope you enjoy the first lesson and you complete your activity log and that survey for me thank you